Rashonda Lavender. I love her name, Lavender. Let's welcome her as she comes. Good evening. Good evening. All honored guests, we are so happy to have you all this evening. My spoken word name is Scribe. I don't sit down to practice or to make up a story. As my father gives it to me, I put it to the paper. And hopefully, this evening I deliver it as he has given it to me. The name of this piece is Once and For All. Jesus is speaking. I was there when you found that wallet. You didn't return it, and the ID was still in it. And when your parents had that argument that initially led to divorce, I watched your attitude toward morality change a bit less to your perspective of promiscuity, which led to your premarital intercourse. You really believe your it was your fault that you were born. Because your little heart was so torn. Why else would your parents keep reminding you of how much money they would have if you were not here? I saw your dangerous encounters with drugs, alcohol, and death. And yet you never called me when you were hurting. And even then you didn't believe what I said could be achieved because of the situational grief and remorse of how mama says you were conceived. You see, I heard your heart, and I know you doubt my existence. I hear your laments about how life makes no sense. Everybody's so uptight and tense. Predators seem to be those who pray your to. Selfishness yeah. and greed seem to be the predator that feed upon those that pray. The next one. And I was about to walk away. The next one. But then I heard you say on one of your darkest days, Jesus, are you there? Do you even care? Why would you? Why would anybody care about me? What makes you so different? Jesus said, I realized you were talking to me about me. And I need you to listen. And at the end of my spiel, you can do what you will. You see, I will not force you into submission. That is not my commission. But if I can have your full attention, it's my turn to speak. Remember when you were a little girl and your parents broke apart? I saw the first star appear in your heart. And when your stepfather did what he did to you, I saw that star open and tear. Rashonda, I was there for you. I do care. But then your life began to tumble around you. New homes, new school, new people surrounding you. You became acquainted with deceit, mistrust, and people lying to you. It seemed like every promise that ever was made was broken. And the clergy, hmm, they tainted your view of me because of their lack of integrity. You see, I know the rumors. And I also know the truth. But even then you would say, I'm just having pity on you because I uh, know what you have been through. You see, I know you. I hear you when you apologize. And I know you're having a hard time believing that I can love a sinner like you. But that's only because you're used to people holding grudges, saying one thing and doing another. But have you not heard that I am not a man that should lie? You see, I know all the things you stole, and I know all the lies you told, and I know how many people were hurt when they found you strung out on coke, and how your sister took a beating for something you did while you ran and hid. Oh, and you joke around about how people call you a whore, and how the Bible says, go and sin no more. But then you still wear those scandalous clothes and welcome whomever to your door. But you still don't call my name. And even now you may not believe that what I say can be achieved because of the shame and remorse of your own deeds. But I am not the one who condemns you. And I know at the end of this field you're going to do what you will. 
but I appreciate your attention. But right now, I want you to put on some comprehension and realize that I was nailed to a tree at Calvary, and I did it willingly. I subjected myself to creatures I helped create. I placed myself in the custody of reprobates. I took the whip for you. I took the sin you commit. I took the burden you carry. I took the disease that afflicts. I took the wages you cannot pay and I had them all nailed to a tree through me. And for a moment, it seemed my father turned his back on me. But do you really believe I could not get off of that tree? But the angels all about me? I did it to please my father who loves me and who has returned me to glory. Amen. And you know what? If you believe these words and accept this sacrifice, the blood payment given to you a ransom once and for all, you can now be saved, redeemed, brought back from the grave. Mine, a joint heir with me in my father's house. <laughs> but I won't force you to accept it. And yes, I am looking for repentance. But you know, I've come to the end of my spill and I know you're gonna do what you will. Remember, I love you. My gift is waiting for you. But you see, I will not force you into submission because love is my commission. Thank you for your attention.